Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Do you know why you say I will when you're gonna do something? Assuming you're a man or woman of your word, of course, a lot of people, they just talk and they don't walk the walk. But if you are a man or woman of your word and you say I will do something, do you know why you say that? Because it takes willpower. I will do this. This will happen. I won't have it any other way. I will become the highest and best version of myself. I refuse to not become that person. It is non-negotiable. Do you understand? So a lot of people, they want to tell you and themselves, losers, they want to tell you and themselves that it's not possible. Uh, no uh, ambitious dreams and goals. No, no, that's a fantasy. No, no, don't you see this? It's difficult because of this. No, 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 it's like this. This thing is in the way. While winners, they say, I don't care that it's difficult. I don't care that this is in the way. The obstacle is the way and I will get there. When I got into this with fitness and training, for instance, you know, you see, there are people that lie about being on steroids in the fitness industry. Absolutely. So it's not strange that people have, there are debates, is this person on steroids or not? But also there's so, so much discouraging information then. That, oh, this is, you, you can't get bigger than this. So look at this chart, take this number, your, your, your uh, height and subtract this and that and this body fat percentage and this, the, this weight. Now you can't get bigger than that natural. Um, I, a little bit, when I got into it, I was like, shit, yeah, because according to some charts, I was basically there, like almost just two years in. I'm like, is this really it? Can't get bigger than this. But then I decided I don't care what the charts say. I will get bigger. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to become Mr. Olympia <laughs> and I don't want to, but I will get as big as I want, as ripped as I want, as ripped and big as I want, because I'm going to make that happen. You see, you can't change reality completely, but you can, you know, reality is the only thing that gets in the way, or you, you get in the way because you don't have the willpower to do it. It's like, you know, go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, sometimes flow happens. Things you can't accept, that's reality. The flow of reality, it will happen, it will rain. Then it's reality's will, so to say, but the rest is up to you. I don't believe in just going with the flow, never using force, no. I let whatever is out of my control flow and then I force the rest. I will it, it will happen. This is what I learned. This is what I learned at the bottom of the barrel when those panic attacks hit. After seeing everything that was in the way of me doing like this, this was one of my biggest dreams to have a YouTube channel. I knew I was good at talking, I knew I had good ideas about certain things, like, cer like topics I talk about here, I just did not know back then that the fitness and health stuff would be such a big part of it too. But I saw everything that's in the way, no, it's too controversial, no, in this society, oh, oh, people, what, what will people around me think, uh, and, and it's so difficult to get, you know, acknowledged anyway, da, 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 da. now I've decided I will make it happen. I will. I'm already making this my job, you know, but I will make it bigger in the end. But I learned when I hit those panic attacks hit, I realized I must, I must, I must change this or else I'll die. I had always thought I don't really care about living or I'm a nihilist kind of, you know, uh, I might as well do the best of it, uh, which a nihilist just think is like pleasure, you know. When you don't see any meaning for anything and don't really that because of that, you don't believe in God or the universe, whatever, a higher power, you have no morals. And so you can just come up with numbing yourself with pleasure. When a man can't find purpose, he numbs himself with pleasure, drinking, weed, porn, casual sex, binge watching Netflix, video gaming, being up all night, sitting in the dark inside. But now I, when, I realized when the, this panic attack feeling, that was the threat to my life. I felt like a threat to my life. This, my experience right now is so uncomfortable that I might not, if this goes on, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna have to end it. And I couldn't see any way out of it. I, I fucked up. 
I fucked up. But I knew now this was not, I had always thought I was just predestined to be a certain way, you know. Uh, the, the problems I have that I have anxiety, da, 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 the, it's just the way I am. Nothing to do about that. But this is when I realized, no, this cannot, this cannot have been predestined. This is not, I was never like born like a psycho or crazy. This just cannot be my destiny. But I did not see the way out though. But I had to, I had to trust the process. I must do it. I must do it. Or else it's all over. I don't want that. I don't want to die. I will do everything in my power to overcome this. And it, oh, the pain. I saw no way out. I saw no way out. It didn't get better. I was supposed to go to my job and just be there for a few hours. Easiest job ever with people I knew that I were like comfortable around and with a job. And still sometimes I come to the subway and have to turn around and I'm like, how am I getting out of this? How am I gonna get out of this? But I had to trust the process. I had to, because the choice, the other choice, I can't end it. I can't end it. I will go on. I will trust the process. And then finally, those months, imagine if you've done some kind of psychedelic thing, trip, you know, you, you, your, you, your brain processes so much that the, you know, a trip for a few hours could feel like uh, days or weeks, depending on the intensity. These months felt like years. The days felt like weeks because it was so intense. And finally, after what felt like years, I came out on the other side and I, I saw that if the biggest challenge, I realized I've been given up on sm much, much smaller challenges before because I have not willed it. I have just accepted my fate. It's like, this is just how it is. I can't do anything about it. But I could do something about the most difficult thing that I saw the least, the least hope ever because I had to, because I willed it. I would not accept anything else. And this is the mindset that I got from that. Everything, everything that I want, everything that will make me the best, everything that will make me the best so that everyone else can be the best, that I get to influence everyone around me, that I will make happen. I will, we're talking about the physique again, I will get ripped and big. I will not miss a workout. I will do my best. I will stay on point with my diet. I will fast for days. I will keep improving upon all of this. I will make progress happen. I will make my YouTube channel grow. I will make bringing what worked for me to others work. I will, my business, I will make it grow. I will make more people get it. I will get to give the most amazing woman I've met an amazing family, I will come up short. I will fail at all of these things at times. And then I will try again. And then again. And then again. And then I will get it right in the end. I won't have it any other way. It is non-negotiable. It is non-negotiable. So just realize this. Whatever you don't have right now, whatever you wish was different with you right now, it's all on you. It's because you are not getting it. It's because you are not getting it. You have to do everything in your power. You have to, many times you have to stumble in the dark. Sometimes the flow just aligns perfectly. You can just see, yes, this, this is just what I have to do. But then you have to trust the process many times. Many times you just have to will it. Okay, I'm not sure what to do now, but this thing that I got, it's in that, that direction. I better start walking there somehow. And then it, you, that, there was a wall, okay? I go back, I go this way instead. A wall, okay, here. Ah, here it's working. Here I'm moving, yes. That's how you do it. Stop making excuses. You are getting in the way. If you're not crazy, delusional, like you wanna be Spider-Man, you think you're gonna be slinging webs around New York, jumping 30 meters high or whatever, that you can't will, that reality will will. But if that speaks to you, 
You can be the most like Spider-Man. You can train your body. You can be the strongest and most agile and flexible you can be. You will make it happen if you will. That's what I bring to my clients along with all the wisdom. Let's call it wisdom about nutrition and training and fasting is this mindset. If you lack the willpower and belief in yourself and the possibility of you reaching your goal, investing in someone that knows that we will make it happen as long as you trust and follow the process is the best thing you can do for yourself. I still have the Christmas sale on my coaching. I will leave it open because the first group call on you know, the different coaching tiers we won't have until the first Saturday, um, 2023. So I will leave it uh, up until then. Yeah, DM, let's make it happen. We will make it happen. DM on Instagram or email me, it's all in the description. Please like and comment. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscle, self-improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, mindset. It's a mindset that we will, we will make it happen. Peace.